You're in the red zone with NBC 25 Friday Night Football. Now, here's Tom Eschen and Corey Kopik with all of tonight's big game action. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Friday Night Football. I'm Tom Eschen alongside Corey Kopik. Now, Corey, the Pope is in town. I guess, in, in, in America. It's about as close as you're going to get, this right? This is as close as I'll ever be to the Pope, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. probably is, and yeah. we are blessed to have football We here. are indeed blessed. In this particular week, we've been blessed with a truckload mm. of games featuring the top teams in conference uh, in, in their conferences, first team playing the second place team. And we'll start in the Saginaw Valley Red. Big matchup yeah. tonight in the Saginaw Valley Red. Mount Pleasant was at Lapeer trying to ground the, a Lightning team that has looked unbeatable this year. First yeah. quarter, Lapeer wasted no time as Mike Martin gets Cut. loose up the middle through a big hole. He goes 63 yards. Look at him run. He's quick. Lapeer takes the early 7-0 lead. Later in the quarter, Mount Pleasant going to work. They're going to turn around and head into their battering ram. Mm. Hunter Budikowski <laughs> puts his head down Marshawn and runs there. over like three dudes <laughs> on his way to an oiler first down. At the goal line, however, Matt Pleasant turns to Jacob Mogg for the score, but that's as close as they would get. Lapeer wins in dominating fashion tonight, 35-14. to 14. Wow, it's a big win. They're 5-0 and now. They are. So it's time now for our game of the week. I did try, Corey. I know you want to be closer. I tried to get the Pope to come, but it's a little busy. He didn't answer Tom Eschen's he, phone he calls? Didn't, he didn't answer. I, I left a couple <laughs> voicemails, a couple text messages, and Snapchatted him. You're a devout Catholic. So I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, it's okay. Tonight, yeah, it's we fine. had two 3-1 and one teams. Powers Catholic could have used the Pope's help tonight yeah. as they took on Midland Down. Yeah, the Saginaw Valley blue lead mm -hmm. on the line and that one, so that's why. It's our NBC 25 game of the week. The Charger Marching Band, by the way. It's big. All 250 of them. One of the largest bands in the state. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's fun to watch, too. End of the first quarter. That's Midland's quarterback, Bruce Mann. Nice cut there. A little swim move over the eight-yard keeper. 7 nothing Chargers. And then the Charger mascot could be giving a little bit more here. He's doing the things <laughs> of the legs. Just dance a little. Give us something. Your mascot. Dow up 21 nothing. But Matt Whisker on the punt return makes that first man uh -oh. miss. N nice job there by the blocker, not to clip anybody. Yep. No block in the back, but he just keeps on going. And There's that cuts the Dow right lead there. to four. Yep. A lot of big walks on that <laughs> punt return. The Dow lead is at 14 at that point. But Dow comes back with a drive of their own. This time, man, the pass first out to the outside. And then Justin Cook. He decides to throw it too. You can do that if you throw it behind they once. Yeah. Devontae Stein with the touchdown. 31 yard, 28 7 Chargers at the half. Now, Powers did come back a little. 35 30. Dow wins and ring the bell. I'm very happy and very uh, excited that we get to play a great football team and win on our homecoming game. And it's just a great feeling. We needed this test tonight. We needed a battle with a team that was good and well coached. And so this was a good experience going forward for us. We talked to him before the game, too. Good job, Coach. Dow takes the lead in the Saginaw Valley Blue. He's a nice man. There's the play again. There it is. <laughs> That's a good play. All right, Freeland and Omen and Elsie did battle for the top spot in the Tri Valley Central Conference tonight. We'll pick this up in the first half. Marauders with the ball. Keegan Sutliff to Ben Stillwell and a little in cut. Stillwell picks up 40 <laughs> yards before being hauled down inside Falcon territory Big later in the drive. Play. Obed Elsie punches it in. Jordan Shattuck with a spin Ooh. before putting his head down and muscling across the goal line. The Marauders. Yeah, that's right. The Marauders start off strong, but it's Freeland with the win tonight. Falcons improved to 5-0 with a 24-22 win. We have Flushing taking on Linden and the fans. A little uh, beach theme, I guess. A little they late, love their late, football. Late summer. Yeah, don't, so do we, Corey. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Ryan Young, the catch in front of all those blockers and keeps running. You see the touchdown right there. Linden scores, but Flushing responds with a touchdown in their own in the second. I just gave away the highlight before I, I even said it. Garrett Oginski takes Oginski. the ball. Fine space after some good blocks at the line. Whoop, there he is. Flushing 17-7 <laughs> at the half, but Linden, another comeback win, 21-20, the final in that one. Elsewhere, Sandusky over Ubley, 21 to nothing in Meridian. They're pretty good. We were there earlier in the year, 34-22 or Rostin. That was actually a big game in the Greater Thumb East with the uh, Sandusky win over Ubley. If Ubley wins that game, they pull even with them in the conference. However, GAC Blue, well, this so. was also another big game. If Byron had won, they would be even with New Lothrop. It close, was not though. close. No. New Lothrop wins 40 to nothing. That last game, Corey, tell They're us tough about to that win last game. Home. They're tough right to there. beat at home. And then Corona yeah. with a big win over Beecher. That is a huge win for that program. Corona wins 20 to 6. That's going to do it for the first half of Friday Night Football. You, I was just mesmerized by you, Corey. <laughs> After the break, Swan Valley, Millington, Grand Blank, all with huge matchups. See who came out on top when we come back.
Friday Night Football is sponsored in part by Security Credit Union. Dedicated, secure, trusted. Stay right here. You're watching NBC 25 Friday Night Football. Friday Night Football is sponsored in part by Champion Auto Sales. This is NBC 25 Friday Night Football. Welcome back to Friday Night Football here on NBC 25. I'm Tom Eschen. That's Corey Kopic. It's not our debut here. We've been doing this for a few weeks now, but lots of uh, NBC t television show debuts right. these last few weeks, we Corey. we The Voice mm. and then James Spader in the Blacklist. Yeah. He's crazy. <laughs> right? <laughs> he, he, he's really good at delving into his character. He is. Especially, did you see him on The Office? Yes. Robert California. Robert California. Classic, how, classic character. On yeah. a terrific show. Yeah, let's, anyway, we're going to get back to some football now. we got sidetracked. for let's NBC. Kensington Lakes action tonight. <laughs> Grand Blank. Bet you didn't expect to that tonight, guys. For a homecoming. <laughs> There's homecoming all over the place tonight. Howell gets their offense going early. Logan Russo hauls in the pass deep down the middle for the first down. Mm. I love those uniforms. Later in the same they drive. They look like Notre Dame. They do look like same drive. They go back to Russo. He stretches out for the score, but it's ruled a fumble. Grand Blank recovers for the touchback. They would go on to win the game 33 to 21. Your final score. There, there we go. It is. Pops right up. There's the moon. <laughs> a waxing give us for you keeping score at home in Millington tonight. Is that Top a two teams in Tri Valley East. Frank and Moose visiting. Uh, big third down in the third. He goes up 14 nothing. That's Jack tagging it to Brady Wood over the middle. Gone. Big touchdown makes it 21 nothing. And then on the sidelines, something really fascinating. Some hat tossing there. Couple kids. Oh, skill. The taller kid always wins every time. He's, he's our quarterback. Grant Bronner here a little bit later tries to make the catches. The Eagles get the ball again. Yeah, you can see that hit the ground. First really catch. Then wasn't nice stop there by Millington. A fourth down to sell it. and some more hat catching. Can't have <laughs> enough of that. The Eagle defense steps up though after Millington takes over. Grant leads the big sack. Frankenmuth takes first, 28-7. We go back to the Tri Valley Central now. Swan Valley at Chessening tonight. The, Lindy, the Indians lead 21-14 at the half. They open up the second half with a scoring drive. They're going to keep it on the ground. Jacob Redmond mm. sprints around the left side. He's going to pick up 15 yards. Good switch of the ball there. Yeah, good, good job. Text for being bounced out of bounds at the 25-yard line. And then Chesting will cap off the drive with a touchdown. It's Redmond again following the big uglies into the end zone. Chesting wins in impressive fashion. He would be there, though, though, to 20 without yards. those guys. Without that true. That's true. And some of them might be good looking. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I say it. I say it with love. Yeah, fashion, I'm big ugly. Uh, you were out in the thumb earlier this week. I was. Right? I was out at Unionville Seabowing. I was in Reese. Lots of corn, windmills, and, and yeah, some sugar. We were, we were talking sugar. about that before the show. Sugar beets. That's beets. right. That's right. They're that's not. Right. Sh it's not sugar until it becomes. You're beet. in Michigan now. Right. right. Sugar yeah. beets. Yeah. And this is a perfect segue. Yes. As we had the Sugar Bowl tonight. Right. As you see, that's why I was in Reese and Unionville Seabowing. So. Let's go to the highlights. Without any further ado, Colton Siebert. This is 96 yards touchdown run. So if you want to learn more about Sugar Beats, now's the time for you. Go. <laughs> we, we don't you have got. that much time because he's much faster than you think. He's very fast. So that opens the scoring of the game. Reese responds, though, with a drive of their own. Jacob Hartman, watch this tough run here. He's got blockers in front working maybe a little too hard. The ball pops oh. loose. U.S. recovers. The Patriots win for the second straight year. They take the Sugar Bowl back to the U.S. 42 to nothing. And Ithaca, yeah, they won again. 49 Shocking. to 6. <laughs> Big shocker. They just keep on going. Then we have MLS. They also won again. Shocker. 5 and 0 with Corey's favorite player, Casey Williams. That's right. 33 to 12 over St. Louis. I'm sure he was awesome tonight. <laughs> Midland was at Bay City Western. They put it on him. 55 to 7. Midland improves to 5 and 0. And then Fenton and Kersley lit up the scoreboard tonight. Fenton walks away a winner. 53 to 22, your final score. Well, it's time now. You saw so many good things tonight from a lot of teams. Right. Like some teams stay undefeated, but a lot of good individual players, too. And the best performance of the night. It's time now for our game balls. That's right. And my game ball goes to, okay. can I get a drum Wait roll? for it. Midland Dow's offense. I know that's kind of a broad. Legendary. They all get a, they all get a game ball. Big. Big, That's big okay. yards and big points against a very good Powers Catholic defense. They'd only allowed seven points in the last three games. Powers Catholic's got a great right. team. So and, that, and so that's an impressive win for Dow and especially the offense. No doubt Powers bounces back from this loss, and Dow will use it as a springboard moving forward. And Powers, at the end of that game, they, they really 
push, they pushed for it. They were down and they came back. It's right. time for my game ball, and then I gotta shut up and tell me about my game balls. <laughs> Here's Colton Siebert. Oh, it's the cut here. That's the best part. Oh, that's so textified. by a running back. He felt his way through the hole. As soon as he hit it, he opens the scoring of the game and he's gone. That set the tone tonight. Unionville Siebeling, 42 to nothing. Keep in mind, they hadn't won this series for eight years prior to last year. Really? Last year, this was their only win. So to start the season this well for the Patriots is pretty impressive over a great program like Reese. The direction, they're going in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. That, mm -hmm. I mean, they're doing a really good job with that yeah. program. Reese, I'm sure, will bounce back at some right. point I'm as well. Yeah. You know, but mm -hmm. good, good to see this fun little rivalry yeah, tonight. Absolutely. The Sugar Bowl yeah. I saw it earlier this week. It's pretty fun. Yeah, those Sugar Beats. Well, I guess that's our show tonight.